So say you're in a situation where you are used to having the dependable power to keep your refrigerator and your freezer running and keep your food cold, and you have been without power for days and days in a row, much like is happening right now in Northern California. What do you do with a freezer full of meat that you have no other way to store cold and you don't know what to do with? Well, all hope is not lost. Rather than letting that go bad, let's talk about some things that you can do right now with things you might have around to preserve that food and be able to keep it without refrigeration. So one of the best ways with minimal energy put in is drying such things. So before it had a chance to really go bad, while it was still cold but no longer frozen, I took a bunch of this meat out of the freezer and I cut it into thin pieces going across the grain of the muscle. So perpendicular to those long muscle fibers. As thin as I can get it. And then I put a marinade of salt, pepper, powdered ginger, and powdered garlic on here. And it's been sitting overnight. And that's starting to draw some of the moisture out. So then I have my car, a common window screen, and my reflective sun guard for my windshield. So I've set this up so that the screen is, has airflow on top and behind it. And with that reflective cover on the windshield of my car, which is going to bounce the sunlight back at my screen. And I'm setting my meat out with a little bit of space between it so that it's getting sunlight from the top and the reflection of heat from below to dry this quickly. It's probably about 60 degrees today, so I'm guessing that having more airflow will be better right now with the amount of warmth we had. But if it was colder and I had a minimum of sunlight and heat, I could do the same thing inside of my car. So now I've got all of my jerky laid out, plenty of space, airflow above and beneath it, and the reflective cover bouncing the sunlight back at it. But there are some flies and yellow jackets around, so I have a second window screen I'm just going to lay over the top so that those insects can't get to it. I wasn't getting a good seal with the screen I was putting on top to protect my meat from flies getting to it. So I decided to go ahead and do another technique, which is just putting it right into my car. So this time I spread out my reflective windshield protector on the passenger and driver seat and then put the screen propped up by the seat rests and the dashboard. Now the reflective cover is also going to catch any drips so I don't have to worry about meat juices dripping on my car's upholstery. The other thing is that you want to use this when it's a little cool for drying outside but you don't want it to get so hot in your car that you're actually cooking the meat. You want your jerky to be raw because it's actually less healthy to have dried cooked meat. That can go bad and make you sick more so than raw meat. Kind of counterintuitive but true. So I've left my windows open a little bit, but I don't want to then give the flies and the yellow jackets access to the meat. So what I'm going to do is take some of my clothing and shove it into the crack in the windows so that I get airflow, but not insects in and out of the car. And there you have it, an effective solar dehydrator made with just things living that you have lying around, hopefully, or that you can find. And it's going to be sealed, it's going to be warm, and it's going to allow you to keep some of the food that might otherwise go bad to have it for long-term storage.